Hello. It's the Yak. Sponsored by Roback. Roback.com. Promo code Yak. 20% off the first purchase. Q-zips, polos, hoodies, joggers, shorts. Go right now to Roback.com. Promo code Yak. We are here. No Nick. We're here with Brandon. Hi. KB. Oh. Mook. Man. And Gavrilo Princep. Mm-hmm. There he is, right there. Oh, me? Yeah. Gavrilo. Listen, uh, Gavrilo there's a lot of Princep. There's a lot of drama going on in this trivia. Do you, do you bullshit. not know who Gavrilo Princep is? No, but I like the name. He would be the man Isn't who assassinated fun? Franz Ferdinand, no. Archduke, and started World War One, which then started no, World War II. I, uh, no, which I was started nuclear no. bombs, Franz. which then leaves us. Here. I was simply, Gavrilo. <laughs> I was simply, ah, Gavrilo. Gavrilo. Oh. I was simply just trying to enjoy my lunch. Oh, and, there he is. That's, that's Titus <laughs> right there. That is Titus. He is, we'll say, he is hey, set in a, motion. It's World of, War Three. Um, I'm a terrible yeah. looking guy. All the uh, I, this drama is not for me, and I don't. Uh, I've been asked about it. Like, where do you stand on the trivia drama? I, you started I it. What? I, I don't. I, I just want to answer questions, man. I don't want to. Like, I just want to do a little trivia. I don't. I don't. All this. All the you know trading like and yeah, all look, that. Give me the little these never in been the my chat. Th- the the hands. <laughs> yeah, in the chat. That's Titus right now. Yeah, what's the update uh world war three <sighs> yeah the triv world league has seems like it's oh, formed shit. yep did i hope uh dave has a question writer who is terrified of him yeah <laughs> um i the, the the best moment uh so far that for me personally is Stephen shea coming into my office and being like are we really going to get paid to join this new league <laughs> and i had to explain to him that like i'm brooks kepka you're chase kepka like i'm <laughs> yeah. gonna go somewhere and you're coming with me no matter what yeah so like um, that's just how it's gonna work i'm good um, with that <laughs> yeah i know you are <laughs> so we, yeah if i i might get paid roan might get paid you'll maybe get a little you know, you get to play trivia. We'll make sure you get to play trivia. That's all I'm here for. <laughs> all right, Dave. This snack cake produced by Little Debbie is an oatmeal flavored pie <laughs> featuring a cream filling. <laughs> 30 minutes on the clock. <laughs> all 50 lifelines on the board starting whenever. Take your time. <laughs> <laughs> you have three days to answer this question. Uh, this state capital, situated along the Charles River in Massachusetts, <laughs> features landmarks such as the Boston Harbor. <laughs> <laughs> uh, this <laughs> Finish this quote. Belichick, Brady... <laughs> <laughs> And then the f- <laughs> one more name. Uh, I like this. Dave Portnoy theme trivia. They're going to steal your. Uh, Not far off from what we're It would at. be actually great if just, he just became the ch- King just Jung, like, Kim yeah. Jong Un yes. of trivia. Yeah, they're going to steal your, your, your opinion score. based trivia. That's oh, what they're yeah. going to do. And then whatever Dave says, you're like, yeah, that's right. That's That feels. <sighs> oh, that's like a that's... fucking no brainer. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure it will get figured out. I'm going nowhere. I, the experts are going nowhere. I literally had a discussion with Brandon, and I said, "You said what, fifty thousand dollars." Fifty thousand dollars, and he goes, yeah. "Okay, I'm open." <laughs> and then I was like, "What if I got you fifteen thousand dollars and I gave it to you right now, cash?" He's like, "Yes." I didn't say yes. I so said I went I, from fifty to fifty. I said like we would talk, and it was in a joking tone. I'm going nowhere. Okay. Is there incentives, cash? Oh, there'll be incentives. Shit. No amount of money. Yeah. No amount of money. Who's gets the me captain off of, of your team? Oh, we don't have a we're captain. That's team. That, that can't be true. We yeah, have a captainless team. So any of you could trade. And even so, we're all in lockstep. So we could, I because I'm just trying to figure out who I would call if I wanted to orchestrate a trade. There's all you have to have a you have to have a fo- who who do I call? You have to call all three of us. You have to have a captain. We you don't have, have, to have a captain. No, we don't. Who's our captain, Stephen? You are. Oh, you just called yourself Brooks Kapka. Who says final answer for you guys? I do. Okay, but that's in huh. the game. I'm not the final answer guy in life. Huh. Pioneering the slogan, just do it. <laughs> <It's> <laughs> mega Corp. <laughs> huh. Every size. Often page. referred to as the start of the weekend, this day comes after Thursday, but before Saturday. Yeah. For, I like this. Records. Every seismic change of this company happens because of Mincy. Yes. <laughs> All roads. <laughs> He's always. He is. Always the, he is truly Gavrilo Prince up. He's he starts he all the all the domino memes. Mincy mm-hmm. decides to do this. 
But yeah, he, he his Davy Scatino. If that never happens, yeah, it's none of this is going on. <laughs> it's brutal. It'd be great if like Mincy was like he thought this out. Like no, he knew that that's not how it works. I know, but it's not like, how in any of this. Works. If he was actually pulling strings, Mincy Soze. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, but yeah, it's. Uh, I His hope eyes were straight all along. I hope Jeff's doing okay. <laughs> he doesn't. Yeah. I don't. I don't. Okay. I think a competitor will only bring more publicity well, to the dozen. Well, Where does I told I throw. told Dave well in undisclosed discussions last night because he was worried about Jeff D. Lowe's mentals and I agreed with him, but I said. If a, com- if a competitor shows up and is really good, why not a merger in the future? Mm. Yeah. Like live in PGA. On the table. And we get new rules. And then we get, you know, oh, if we do trivia where we can wear shorts and play music, now the dozen has to adopt that to keep up with the Joneses. <laughs> so, yeah. Oh, okay. What? I don't know. Where does, where does where's the content stop? And we're just like, like, Jeff worked really hard to build this and we're making fun of him. <laughs> I, that's a question you'd have to ask for Dave. I'm, no, right. I'm but you purely, said Dave I'm, is worried about his mental. Right, like maybe yeah, we shouldn't do it. Then. Bit, I'm purely a capitalist in this situation. Okay, uh, if Jeff has a, if Does Jeff out of thin air built a hell of a so brand. Is this, is this a charity or a trivia? Maybe, a, maybe a, pri- maybe some it, privately wealthy individual decides to back Jeff D. Low, and he can offer competitive prizes. You're privately and, wealthy. Oh, hey, it's true. Whoa. Hmm. Well, hey now. No hmm. way. That's interesting. The dozen might have a backer if the Baltimore Ravens win the Super Bowl. Mm-hmm. Just put oh. that out there. <laughs> okay. Okay. Well, that would be interesting. I didn't even think about you that, against Brandon. Yeah. Just throwing it out there. Cash prizes, signing bonuses. Mm-hmm. Huh. Me and Jeff Lowe got to talk. Maybe in exchange for some easy questions. I did say that if he could put in the script the yak wins the dozen championship i will stay true to the dozen has any money been handed out yet i don't believe so figures have been tossed around though Mm. you're worried about jeff (laughs) yeah i mean this is true (laughs) dude mincy runs i mean it also is just missing like one of the biggest ones is is like right, Penn Barstow. Pen, yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Mincy. <laughs> Mincy goes live. He's uh, he's quite something. He's just he's the Tasmanian devil. And then he's like, I don't know what happened. Mm-hmm. And he doesn't. No, never does. No. So yeah, I I don't know where this is all going to go. I I do see this as more fun entertainment than anything else. That's good. But uh, and I am having fun with the entertainment. I know people will eventually take it too serious. I will never leave. Okay. $50,000. Uh, Fleming texted me and Nick. What did he say? <laughs> uh, he used, like, teen girl slang, I think. What? <laughs> what the F is going on with Triv? <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> yeah. Shit. So the, it's kind of dangerous with these teams that are split up between Chicago and New York because Dave can get in their ear out in New York right now. Mm-hmm. Yeah, the my my team is uh might be going Triv. Do you have a team? Yeah, no one cares, but you know. Uh apparently oh, is Triv the name of the league. Mm-hmm. Oh, okay. Jack Mac went into Dave's office trivia. and said we would go and he just didn't even look up and gave him a thumbs up. Yeah. So we're getting the bag, you know. We might be uh we might be bag chasing. Yeah, well, you say that, but he definitely Dave does not know you're on that team. No. no so idea. you need to get that in writing. No idea. Okay. Yeah. Fasoli is Trying to oh yeah for into this just, in the weirdest way possible yeah for so yeah where is get him in here he put me and Kirk in a group chat and said this team would take over the world and Kirk just said who is this <laughs> <laughs> he's talking about himself included yeah yes he doesn't even the big three the big three so so in this world Kirk is obviously over the Meta fans T J has the Yackers and. And Fasoli has always bringing stoolies. the stoolies. Yeah. All stoolies. Oh, All stoolies. Yeah. This is, yeah, our powers combined. It, Kirk could just j- go back to the Minahans mi- and Team Minahan and just drop Rico and Hank and everything would be I gone. don't think he can. What is Kirk's? He can. Kirk? He's not the captain of his team currently. Oh. Yeah, I, I own Kirk now. Yeah. <laughs> That's how it works. He owns <laughs> Kirk's IP. I own the So Kirk to Minahan save IP. the dozen, would you trade Kirk back? For yeah, but, but Hank, I, I tried that today on Wake Up Mincy. I try. I I wanted Mincy back on, and he didn't do it. Well, 
Hank has come out and said that we don't want Kirk back. So oh, I, no. I traded Mincy. I, well, I traded for Mincy, but then it triggered a lot of events that led us right back to where we started. So Kirk needs After to just start his own team, team called T Team Minahan without the E at the end. Yeah. And then rebrand that. For Sully, why are you trying to get involved? Do you even play trivia? Sully, looking like every trying. ethnicity right now. You've been trying for two years? Yeah, never let me in. You've been a free agent? You're free agent. So you're like you're like Cam Newton right now, where yeah. it's like, yeah, I still I still want a ball. Yeah, Colin Kaepernick, I feel like that. You just what you you have Be just set the. Nobody's record, ever signed him. For set Sully. the record straight for Sully. You are not retired from trivia. Not retired. No. People would assume you are because you have yeah. never played. Never played a match. <laughs> what's, uh, what's your uh, what's your strong point? I'm pretty good with music. Pull up the Daily Dozen. Dozen. Pull up the Daily Dozen. They asked me today. No, we already. Oh, did. you already did it. Yeah. Who sings Jeremy? Okay, I don't know that. Oh, damn, that's tough. Might Jeremy? not be good with music. <laughs> oh, that's, I need. That's I need to like, see though. lyrics or like hear it. Then I'm. I like. I'm good with like. Beats Name and, five uh, Super Bowl MVPs in the last decade. Um. We're off to a bad start. For well, it's tough. No, Mahomes, is... Edelman. Okay. Um. Okay. Okay. That's forty percent. <laughs> yep. Okay. Uh. All right, it's different. <laughs> right, too much pressure. I haven't right. even got to eat my lunch I'm out, yet. I'm out on the team. Oh, no. Who, 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 broke, just, the, who broke the AC in like Milton? Who broke the AC? Muskie. Uh. <laughs> Frog off. I just, just got my two pizzas. I've been waiting to 30 minutes for them. This is, that question he just asked is the least pressure you would ever face. Oh, ever. <laughs> if you got in the dozen and you couldn't handle it. Okay. Uh, okay, sorry. My bad. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, this is, yeah, you could be, what if you're in a live dozen show and you're like, wait, hold on, I, I just ate my lunch. Yeah. I can't eat I had a piece of pizza backstage, I can't. Hmm. All right, well, I, I'm happy that you came on, Fasoli, and, and let everyone He's know that you're it. not retired. Not not retired. Not retired. Also has never played, but also yeah. not retired. Some may say year 10, but year one hasn't started. Year one has not started. Okay, all right. Thank you, Fasoli. Thank you. <laughs> Appreciate that. So nobody would ever say year 10. No, no one would say year 10. Someone should make a giant power move right now and start a team with Bloodman and join that. I league. think Bloodman's, yeah, the number one free agent. Yeah. It's out there. Dude, he deserves a max contract. Do you feel good about yourself, Titus, that you started all this? I Again, I, I this, this drama is beneath me. Um, I'm just living <laughs> above the fray. <laughs> Gabriel, <laughs> Gabriel Prince. I've, I, you know. I barely even know what you guys are talking about. Oh, I think man. you started yesterday morning. Just trying to conduct my own affairs over here. I mean, you had to know. We were very excited to go on Mostly Sports yesterday and unveil the trade. Yeah. Did that happen? <laughs> well, that was Did that? to Mahomes. Yeah. Was no, that? That was after Mahomes. That was Mincy. Oh. Sorry, was that me? That was, that that was you. Huh. Shit. Just yesterday, huh. less than 48 hours ago. Damn, Oh, We don't want to get it bogged up in <laughs> details like that. <laughs> All right, so what else is going on besides... Everything Jeff T. Lowe's ever worked for crumbling Falling in a matter apart. of 24 hours. Poor Jeff. And everybody laughing. I think he's, I texted with him last night. I think he's okay. Until there's a new trivia league that actually formed. Yeah. The thing that people have to remember is that, like, this is all good and fun. Dave would have to do more work. Yeah, that's true. I don't know if he's, like, the actual logistics of starting the trivia league feels like a pretty big barrier. Austin would Did be. Did he sign Gooch? I think he might have signed Gooch. <laughs> That's his number two guy. That was fast. Jeff Delo got lost all his guys so fast. I think Gooch volunteered. Looked like it. But I mean, in a world, I weird never world, would this not be just exactly what Jeff wants? Is like he just get to ask trivia questions to Brandon and Kirk for the rest of his life? I think he does want to get back. To yeah, that. I think it's going to be experts in <laughs> yeah. smocking. We're yeah. the only two teams left. It's perfect. We just play every single match. <laughs> That's how it used to be. Oh, get back to the basics. Mm -hmm. uh, all right, so what's up? How's everyone doing? I don't want to see what Steven even said here. What else is going on? I'm looking right uh, now. All right. We could, oh, what, Steven? Um, yeah, just we could talk about their discussions about the case race. Won't be next week. Yeah, it will not be next week. Logistically impossible. It's going to be tough. Logistically, it's going to be very – I'll say this right now. It's going to happen. It's going to be great. People are going to be annoyed because we won't be able to get every single person we listed yesterday here at the same time. So we just got to deal with that. We're, we're talking about three or four touring com comedians. Yeah, we're going to try to get as many of the people here. I think Sass and Roan are the most important. So it's kind of, you know, their schedule and then build yeah. off of that. 
Yeah, we'll get we'll get enough people. We'll get enough people. We just need them to. Yeah, exactly. I got excited just thinking about it last night. I know. That's my water. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what are you doing? Wow. <laughs> Guys, thirsty. The fuck? Yeah, take it down. What the fuck? That's KB's water. Mm-hmm. You guys see this? Fu- did you did you see the Chuck Schumer? He's coming after our Zins. Oh, fuck. this motherfucker. He should regulate sixes. Yeah. What? <laughs> sixes yeah. are too much. Yeah, got it. Dude's spinning and dizzy in the bar bathrooms over six. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know about this. What? What is this? No, I, I don't need one. I was just making a joke. Callback joke. Can y'all uh can y'all walk me through can y'all walk me through Zins because I, I looked up about I don't know a year ago maybe a year and a half ago and all of a sudden everybody had them yeah I'll walk you through it put one of these in your mouth no I'm not doing yeah. that come on try it come no, on no no come on for the show. Brandon you'll, you'll like be it fine. I don't I don't it will be fine it's a sterile pouch it's unlike messy fine. dip that gives you a yeah. nicotine buzz it's gonna give you a nicotine I buzz. don't I don't want to you it'll be can fine I do it after the show? no just do it right now it tastes it's fine nice. it tastes nice. What, how do you even put it in your lip? Put it in your, in lippy. your lippy lip. Just leave it there. Yeah, I've never. Uh, God damn. Put it. No, put it right here. Okay. Yeah. There you go. A, a three or a six? What is this? A six. Why is it a six? Because well, uh, I'm a man. I'm not a boy. I'm not a man. Three. Put it down. Mm-hmm. You're okay, a big there you old go. man. You just leave man. it there. Forget it. Yeah. You're a bad man, jamma. You're good. Focus <laughs> on something else. Focus on something. Else. Yeah. <laughs> But yeah, Chuck Schumer, I feel, I feel like... It does the work itself? Yeah. Put it down. Push it down. It won't go down. Yeah, I feel like when uh, Bloomberg tried to take away Frank's sodas. Like a big gums. Yeah. What's yeah. he saying? What? What's he saying? Like, Chuck Schumer just said that he like came out and was like, this is this needs to be regulated more. It's the same like jewel argument that teens yeah. are getting into it. Uh, what is it? I don't want to do this. Can I not do this? You're going to like it. It's a pouch packed. If you don't want to do it, you don't have to do it. It's pouch packed with problems, high levels of nicotine. So today I'm delivering a warning to parents because nicotine pouches seem to lock the sights of young kids. Brandon's taking his out. You would have liked it. it. Young kids. It's part of the Huberman, dude. What's Huberman? This guy. Wait, this uh, was. We don't actually, even know. He anything. didn't actually say this. No, but it's funny. <laughs> that is funny. It's just this is a big tobacco play, by the way. Yeah. Yeah, and it's also <coughs> a classic. <coughs> <laughs> I really could use a water. Um, <laughs> it's a classic case of like politicians meddling, and they're going to just lose favor quickly. Didn't they go after vapes a few years ago? Yeah, they yeah. killed vapes. They got vapes, killed them. They, they might get zins then. If they take away zins, more kids are going to vape. That's true. Huh? The zins are safer. It's better. Better for the young lads. I just don't understand politics. These fat cats in Washington. <laughs> These fat cats in Washington trying to yeah. take away our yeah. zins with their pork barrel. Stuff and their pork bear, and then a political thing. Yep, <laughs> yeah, it's when you start when you start like a I'm struggling with this. So, what they're I really need Nick, it's, like, it's like the guys on the left, too. and then they got uh, the guys on the right. And no, filibuster is different. A filibuster is like wasting time, yeah, 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 yeah. Pork barrel is like, I'm gonna everybody I'm gonna, gets their piece, I'm doing a uh, new legislation to get more drone bombs and then you're like hey but i'll support you if you can build some factories in my district yeah and then we do uh, that uh-huh. so everyone, get, back everyone scratch their beak everybody yeah. gets what they're I think i described that correctly but i might have been wrong classic pork barrel everybody wets their beak is pretty much the the gist of it. yeah can yeah. you look up pork barrel it, do, it sounds it sounds delicious wonderful yeah, yeah. You take away Zane's. If you we had go. a barrel of pork here. Yeah, like come over to my house. We got a go pork to, barrel this go, weekend. Yeah, you go to a barbecue restaurant and order the pork barrel and it feeds like 12 at the table. Uh, yeah. <laughs> bring it out. Yeah, the use of government up. funds for projects designated to please voters or legislators and win votes. Pork barrel would be a good name for the restaurant too. Yeah. The pork barrel, you know that. Oh, that'd be great. Yeah, the pork barrel would be great. I guess the crackers already took it though. Who? All all barrel names for restaurants Cracker. is what he was. Damn, yeah. that, think, zin, that zin got you fucked up. Oh, the yeah. pork barrel. Oh, it looks. Oh, oh, okay. Illinois, Illinois. How's chills? That's not. Mm, I don't mean to. Blaze. What is that? Yeah. Chicharrones. That's catfish. That's uh, ridiculous. That's you don't not, like it? Not dark enough. Might not be catfish. Might have been tilapia. You ever do fish fry Friday? Oh yeah, the best, buddy. I didn't know. You didn't tell me. Yeah. 
up in northern Illinois and Wisconsin, they just do a fish fry Friday at every oh, restaurant? Wait, yeah. you're saying that this is not a Mississippi thing? This is a Mississippi thing. We do that. Oh, yeah, we, we do it. We do yeah. fish fry Friday. Wisconsin's I did, big on it. I didn't know they did it in Wisconsin. Big on they it. They do it at Wales Northwood. Okay. Yeah. Oh, It's yeah. unbelievable. It's so good. I've had walleye. I've had perch. I've had all of it. So it's good. from, when is Mardi Gras? Is it coming up? Uh, it's coming up the end yeah. of January February, and beginning of February, I think. So that's when it pops off, you know, between then and Easter. So oh, because of the, people the Catholics, give up, yeah. Yeah. Catholics give up. But in the summer, it's huge, too. Yeah. It's great. Fish fry. The best one I've had is the shanty up in Wadsworth. Yeah? Yeah, it's what delicious. What kind of fish? Uh, I think that was Wadsworth? Perch. Wadsworth. Ohio? The Grizzlies? No, it's up in it's, it's <laughs> north of Gurney. Okay. Yeah, it's on 41 north of Gurney. They are the Grizzlies, aren't they? North of Zion, too. Yeah, powerhouse. In what? Wrestling, football, et cetera. Et cetera, et cetera. So Jerry did it? Yeah. Yeah. He did the 300. Yeah. He also was Shit, not, TJ. I don't know why, he was not excited. Yeah, it was unceremonious. He did it and just it was walked odd. away. I thought of. he was just not going to do it. Is Jerry miserable? I think he's miserable yeah. right now. I think he's in a little bit of a rut. Got to get him out. How quickly did he do it? Uh, it was Three like hours? Two and a half hours. Two and a half hours, I yeah. was so wrong. Yeah, what the hell? Yeah, you were very wrong. A lot wrong. of doubters. I think I might just suck at the game. Shit, to be frank. He I almost looked angry that he did it. I but know. he was angry before he did it. I think he was. I he's down. I he's got to get. Yeah, we got. He's get trapped him. in the prison that he built for himself. Correct. Yeah, and he's just <laughs> trying to come to grips with that fact. He created. Yeah, the chat owns his yeah. life. But it's been fast. I mean, it, this thing hasn't been going that long. But it's gotten it, the golf thing really just changed the whole dynamic. Yeah, it got big. Of all yeah. of it. Yeah, this is him hitting his three hundred. <laughs> that was it. That was it. So he's excited. No? Dude, you got it. <laughs> Ryan's the best. Ryan is awesome. <laughs> yes! Let's fucking go, Jerry! He just left. Wait, you, you can still hear it as he walks. <laughs> Very confused. That's bizarre. Yeah. He's. This may have been his best accomplishment. Today, right? No, he's down in Florida for he, something. He might not come back. You think he's gonna go back to the union? He might. He might not come back. He's got a pretty good life. Damn good life, but he might not come back. He, he's chasing that hole in one though. That's I a know. tough dragon to chase. I think maybe he was a little upset. Potentially, I'm just completely like guessing here that like he got it so quickly because he was gonna plan on. If it took four hours this time, he would stop, but then next time it would be eight hours. So maybe he was like, this is my next month. He's chasing this. Now he's got to come up with a new thing. Yeah, I mean, yeah, shit. he got it done fast. Like, not every stream is going to be. But two and a half hours is still a handful of time. Yeah, TJ said some guy tried it for his whole yeah. life. Eddie? Yeah, Eddie Burbeck. He also did two in a row at one point, so maybe that's the next step of this. Back to back, perfect. Every game. Jerry after dark is just adding another perfect game to. <laughs> <laughs> so next week he's got to do two perfect games. The week after, three perfect. Oh, no, games. four, then four. eight. Uh, mm -hmm. Just all week. Yeah, I feel. I feel. I feel like I felt down when I watched that. I didn't feel good about it. What time did he do it? In the middle of the night. It was like twelve fifteen ish. Damn. We gotta, we gotta buy Jerry something or something. Do something. What should we do here? We can brainstorm right now. The plan was, uh, for me. So next Tuesday is my birthday. Wait, your birthday's Friday. Friday, yeah. Oh, we gotta do something for it. I know. You better. Okay. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. Yes. Yes. We have to do something for it. Mm -hmm. Uh, next Tuesday is my birthday. Next Wednesday is PFT and Stu's birthday. Mm -hmm. So Tuesday night. Over crossing into Wednesday's the birthday stream. I don't know what we're gonna do though on Jerry After Dark. I mm. told him we would do it with him. So what can we do? Something fun. Something fun. We're thinking about eating shirts for skins. I'd like a protracted Sh race of some sort. Ooh, shirts for skins game to a hundred on the basketball court. <laughs> <laughs> two on two. Maybe volleyball. <laughs> if Stu's involved, he's a notorious not an event like he has a uh, overeating problem so it yeah. could be like a 
see how much you could. Uh, <laughs> he has an overeating. He problem. does have an overeating. No, he literally yeah, he, is. Yeah, he's it's Overeaters Anonymous. Glut. He's gone to Overeaters Shit. Anonymous m- multiple times. Like binge eating? Yeah. God damn. Yeah, he's got an issue. So what the fuck could we do? Chat, give us some ideas. We do the gallon challenge. His streams from <laughs> Borelli's are so funny to see all the food he gets. We could do the How about I got an idea? We could do the gallon challenge. No, Chad. no milk. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. No. All right. No, no milk. milk. What about butter? No butter. No milk. No dairy. No dairy. So cheese is out. Cheese is out. What if we did the gallon challenge, but it was an what? actual cow here, and we had to suck it from its udders? <laughs> Mm-hmm. Uh, at, at some point, that's <laughs> suck the cow dry. Yeah. <laughs> at some point, that's what if we cow? sucked an entire cow? You have to dry. suck a, suck a cow until you can see its ribs. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> like a high seat yeah. Yeah. yeah, that would be interesting, would it not? Yeah. It would be interesting. <laughs> then we eat the whole cow. That would take a while. Slaughter it, cook it, eat it. <laughs> yeah, you have to catch it first. Jerry versus a cow. Yeah. <laughs> I don't hate that idea. Yeah, suck it emaciated. Wait, okay, so he, we bring in a live cow, and Cherry can't leave until he's eating a steak. Correct. <laughs> <laughs> Is there a... I would do that. <laughs> yeah. We have to produce a porterhouse. Off this live medium, cow that we slaughter on the Off of a live cow, yeah. <laughs> TJ, that wouldn't be a YouTube issue, would it? Nah. Who no can, guns, nah. but we can use, like, scissors. Yeah, you can all use your hands. <laughs> you have to kill the cow with your hands. I don't know. Hands yeah. with no weapons. Yeah, you choke the cow out. You You're never gonna kill the cow with your hands. We get a saw, a hammer. <laughs> that would be the most horrific stream ever. But I kind of want to see it. <laughs> the hammer would be the most useful. <laughs> you would do, go with the hammer. Hammer first. No, 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 no. No weapons. Hands only. Can't choke it out. You got to actually beat the cow to death. Well, like <laughs> <laughs> get an Easton back. You got to punch it a thousand times. <laughs> you get one orange stealth. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> D-Marini. <laughs> Fucking go off. My dad I, punched a cow one time. Really? Yeah. He, that was what a happened? thing. That was like a trend. He was mad at it, huh? Right in the face? Yeah, he oh. was trying to put stuff back in the barn, and the cow bumped him from behind. He turned around punched it right in the nose. <laughs> That's awesome. He was on drugs. <laughs> That's awesome, though. My dad was, too. I have, a, I have a real idea. You could do the stew 24-hour and challenge will make it 12 hours and, like, attainable. What's Wait, what? 6, 12, 18, 24. So the jerk offs three six nine twelve. Oh, it's, it's jerk offs donuts miles beers. So you'd have to sub beers. Uh, but yeah. But then we're just hanging out and jerking off. I don't know how y'all do the multiple jerk offs. On our code. Hi everybody. Hi people. Walking through as we talk about jerk offs. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. These are the people that are gonna pay us the ad dollars mm-hmm. to jerk off. Either that or the, the the Doug Doug challenge, which they considered doing, which I've mentioned to you in the past. It's the you go to a fast food drive through yep. and you have to order whatever the person directly in front of you just ordered. Right. You get a team of four. You have to go to a KFC. You can only limit your drink spots to, I think, two in the run, and you see how many drive throughs you can go to and finish that food in a row. So yeah. you go to, like, McDonald's, and you say, give me what they got, and if they got 10 Big Macs, you have to eat 10 Big Macs. Yeah, if they got eat, a fry and a drink. Before you go to the next you one? You eat it in the car. You eat it in the car, and then you go to the next I one. I love that. Oh. Holy shit. I think the record right now is 11 restaurants. A team of four? Yes. So you could, but you could get really lucky, right? You could get super lucky yeah. and go to somewhere where somebody just got a soda or something, or like, but if you go to like KFC and somebody got a, a KFC is required and they get like a 10 piece meal oh, and man. biscuits and fr- like fries and sides and stuff, you have to finish it all. all the and if you puke, you're out. That's pretty good. It's a great, a great challenge. Fuck. I don't want to puke though. Is that the number one challenge in the streets right now, TJ? That was, uh, we're a couple months late on that. That's the Kia boys. The Kia boys. Oh, the Kia Kia boys boys? start that. Just, they're popping up everywhere. They're just just steal Kias. They're just stealing (laughs) Kias with their phone chart or something. With a USB. See how many Kias you can steal. Oh, I don't hate that. You play Grand Theft Auto in real life? Yeah. I want to do something though, something good. Are you looking for physical or mental? I think both. I think we got to do something that. I mean, Stu's not a physical. I don't think he has the physical. I mean, he tore his quad when he did the act gauntlet. So Fair. we got to find something that he can participate in. I mean, Stu, the dynamic of all four of us would be funny in its own right. So just figuring out what exactly it looks like. I mean, you guys had a fun time when you were on Jerry Astro. Oh. 
We should build you an escape room. <laughs> no. I, and, and we knew it then. This, these, this chat's going to kill this man. This chat will kill this poor man. Jerry. And Jerry, yeah. That, th- and this was the week before the hole in one stream. The hole in one stream kind of changed everything, but it also came back to bite him because they, they just want him. They want him dead. What's the chat saying? Do we have any ideas? They want him. Dead. Uh, the Daytona 500 in a Hot Wheels car. Rube Goldberg. Uh, so, so uh, to be clear, show the dozen news. Fi- uh, 500 miles on a big wheel. Well, it's 500. No, it's 500 miles. miles. It's like 250 laps. 500 miles. So you'd have to scale it down to whatever this accord is, I guess. Right, but how long would it take to go a mile on a big wheel? <laughs> That's a good question. Uh, hours? A mile on a big wheel? Probably 20. What's he gonna, is he going to do 500 30, miles? 500 five miles on a big 35 wheel. 35 minutes? So 35 minutes times 500. I can't do that math. Seems like, it's a, seems like a, it's a lot. 35 times 500? Yeah. Anyone else going to do it? 17,500 minutes. Which and is? Divide that, divide that by, by uh, 60 piece. Mm-hmm. 291 hours. Okay, that's out. Yeah, that's 24. Oh, that's 12 <laughs> that's days. A couple yeah. weeks, yeah. yeah. 12 days. <laughs> that would be fun. I'm not sure it would be. To start it. Yeah. And the idea is very funny. That's the thing with Jerry After Dark streams. They're like, the first 20 minutes are electric, and then he's like, fuck. Wait, yeah. so it's you, Stu, Jerry, PFT, and PFT. Yeah. What if you 4v4'd a girls basketball team? Mm. You think you'd win? No. Definitely not. Without a doubt. we. I mean, the one thing we would potentially have in our advantage is height, and we wouldn't. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> like, yeah like, Stu and right. We give up our only <laughs> advantage. Our only potential advantage yeah. is gone. Fair. There'd be a lot of pressure on you there. <laughs> yeah. Uh, a deal has been offered to Kirk and uh, Dave. Trade is voided. Dave rejoins a dozen trivia. Team Minahan locks up one seat for Manders. Well, how's that happen? Oh, no, that's not fair. What? Wow. They keep losing. How do they get the number one seat? Dave doesn't have. What is Frank? Oh, Frank. We need to stop stuff. letting Kirk be big. So, Kirk. Oh. Sick, sick of, of his, his drama. Every so month Kirk, new bullshit. bullshit. He just knows the Frank gets her better. And last year was a fluke. I beat him one on one. I'll beat him again. Like Look at that. that. All right, Frank might be Frank is Rory. I like when Frank talks his shit, dude. Yeah. So Kirk's just off Team Smocking now. Well, he hasn't accepted. But he doesn't have the right to do that. I'm the captain. Here's the here's the actual. I, I fix. have Kirk's right. Here's the actual fix, and I, I'm being dead honest with it. And I don't know if Jeff would ever be into this. Jeff, I don't agree to this trade. I don't agree. And I'm being I'm being dead honest. Jeff is a great host of of the, the dozen. He's done a great job. Early. Jeff needs to have someone else be the commissioner. If yeah. you do that, it solves everything. Right? Isn't someone be- in this office the head of the players association? Yeah, uh, they try to do that White Sox day, but he. But if Jeff stepped down as commissioner and had someone else be commissioner, not named Kirk or Dave, all this would be solved. It should be because like then a- you wouldn't have like Jeff is friends with a lot of people, so it's like there's obviously some weird, you know. Yeah, who's a big swinger in our circle? But who's not in the league? Like, that no, it, should, it should be a third party. Actually, you know who could you, you know who should do it? It should be Blutman. Whoa, Blutman yeah, would he be has, a perfect commissioner. He has the demeanor for it too. He has a demeanor. He's no, he's all business. Won't take shit. Everybody's yelling at him, and he just just even, yeah, make well decisions. Not phased at all? He's not phased. But that is the solution: is Jeff needs to step down as commissioner, stay on as host, be the host, yeah, founder, host, new commissioner. The commissioner can then decide everything. Mm-hmm. I don't know who the commissioner would be. Blutman is a good choice. Who else? I just saw Spider walk by. Rashid Wallace. That, that Rashid Spider Wallace. Wallace. Like Rashid Wallace. My dad's been Never chilling mind. with him at Dude, the Wild what? Wing Cafe. What? Like every time there's a what? football game, my dad and his pickleball crew, and Rashid Wallace. What? Can you pull up these he calls pictures? Rashid now. Can you pull up these pictures, <laughs> TJ? Because he's. I see it every single. It's like every Sunday. And I think he she, tweeted one picture, but no one – he didn't say it was Rashid Wallace. He's a uh, he's a Chiefs fan. Rashid. Oh, yeah. yeah uh, I, I think it's Sheed. Getting on Sheed basis is awesome. Is yeah, he on Sheed basis? I think he's on Sheed basis. Hmm. What? Can we, can we zoom Jeff D. Lowe and tell him my idea? See if he's open to it? I used to have the Rashid Wallace uh, Air Force Ones, the patent leather, all whites. Really? You know, the one with the, his silhouette. 
doing a fadeaway. Sound awesome. I was more of a Rip Hamilton guy. Was that a shoe? No, just a, a guy. Oh, yeah. yeah. No, I had the sheets. Mm-hmm. Wore them to a barley house in Cleveland, and the bottle girl spilled apple pucker liquor all over them. Still charged me for the bottle. They smelled like rotten Granny Smiths for the rest of my life. <laughs> God damn. Yeah. I had to pawn them off. God damn. <laughs> You pawned them off. My sheets. Spilled <laughs> apple pucker all over the sheets. <laughs> Not the sheets. Bro. The sheets? Yeah. What color were they? All white, patent leather. Fuck yes. Patent. Mm-hmm. Smell like Granny Smith's. Rotten. What about, what about, Toxic. Not what about Sass as a commissioner? I think he'd be, he'd, he'd grow tired of it within about five minutes. Yeah. Gaz? Look at that. Uh, Hang out again person. at Wild Wings tonight. Both big fans of KC and Taylor Swift. <laughs> That's Doug Winoy and Sheed. Sheed. Yeah. So. He, it's that. Uh, oh, no one, yeah, but I don't think any people knew. Like, does Doug live in North Carolina now? He, he, yeah. He that makes living. sense. Yeah. Because okay, when I saw the pictures at first, I was like, what is she doing in West Virginia? Nah. But Carolina. Okay, that makes yeah. sense. Raleigh. And that was, there's been like two or three pictures of him and Sheed. I don't know. He always just sends me a text with Sheed. <laughs> yeah. Is he like chugs beers? That's incredible. Ass hand, yeah. I mean, Sheed's a legend. I know. Big time. Legend. He'd be a perfect commissioner. No one would, would step to him. No one oh. would step to Sheed. That's a great call. It would be ironic if he were get, the voice of a, get Sheed. if he were the voice of authority though. Like he always fought back against authority during basketball games. He had a problem with mm-hmm. with technical fouls and the like and if he were the one doling out the punishments that's that's ironic turn from him yeah but it'd be great he invented ball don't lie right be great if she'd was that him i thought so. yeah i thought he yeah mm-hmm. maybe he didn't invent it but he like he that was when people started. it got popular yeah because yeah. oh. of because of sheed it was uh yeah we we it's a old school barstool shirt ball don't lie that dave yeah. i think lost a lot of money on yeah. So he made like back in the day of having to produce the shirts first and then sell. Oh them. yeah. So he used to make the joke like "free ball, don't lie" shirt <laughs> for anyone who does this or that. It was just a picture of because didn't he have like a doesn't she have a yeah the bald spot yeah the bald yeah. spot yeah. yeah so it was just yeah. that it said "ball don't lie." So that was the precursor to brick watches. Oh, yeah, I guess maybe. Mm. Yeah. Mm. The ball lies a lot too. The ball lies yeah. all the time, but it's so but much it's fun. The, when the ones, ball doesn't. Football, when the ball doesn't lie, you remember it. Yeah, yeah, and it's so. A football fun. will Great lie ball. in a heartbeat. Yeah, it'll. The ball lies a lot. Mm-hmm. Ball don't lie. The soccer ball, soccer ball lies. They got the VAR for that. Yeah, Za loves VAR. Yeah. yeah, he's always talking about VAR. He fucking loves it. What if she'd said that we couldn't smoke weed? <sighs> but that was he was a weed smoker, right? Oh yeah, Big flagrant. Time. Yeah. Oh yeah, like that was the, the road. Chappelle, that was the Chappelle show skit where yeah. you would do you throw a condom away it was Kobe but you throw a weed away it was Rashid Wallace. Who Char- else? Charlie was, Murphy did that. It was the Jailblazers. Who else was on that team? Zach oh. Randolph, Ruben Patterson, uh, Darius Miles, I believe. Oh, yeah. Jr. Ryder there at the beginning. Um, Those guys rule. Damon Stoudemire. So cool. Yeah. Yeah. Mighty Mouse. Scotty Pippen was on the team. Oh, yeah. He was a Jailblazer. Yeah. That would be the Brian Grant had the dreadlocks. Such a great nickname. The Arvita Sabonis. Awesome. Arvita Sabonis. I'm just naming the non jailblazers. Yeah. No. D- she, D- although he Cl- might have been. Clyde Drexler. CJ <laughs> McCollum. <laughs> Terry Porter. Uh-huh. Bill Walters. DeAndre Bill Aiden. Walton. <laughs> yeah. yeah, the jailblazers. <laughs> <laughs> I remember. <laughs> Ruben Patterson, my favorite, was the when he when he said when he dubbed himself the Kobe Stopper. And then he did not stop Kobe. Bonzi Wells? No, Bonzi might have been a jailblazer. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. I think he was. I think he was that era. Yeah. Bonzi's a sick name. Oh, Bonzi Wells was. A what great does that stand for? Is it just Bonzi? I think for Bonzi, yeah. Bonzathan. Bonzathan. Bonzi. 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 Well. I want to look that up. Bonzi Wells. What do we got cooking over here? That looks like a tether ball. If I'm being honest. We oh should my hang. God. We should uh. We should what? Someone a wedgie on that thing. Oh. Oh, they finally. Bonzi Wells' real name is. Gawen D'Angelo Wells. Whoa. G A W E N. Fuck, D'Angelo Wells would have been the name too. Gawen. I've never heard that before. Gawen. 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 Your basketball Go player, yeah. Gawen. Go Go oh, it's, Go um, yeah, Tetherball. That's a fucking fun ass game. Is it? Has anybody ever known, known how to play it? We yeah, just hell. hit it and then. Right. Right. 
Right. He's gonna hit it. Yeah, right. I get I just, it. I explained. What it. is there yeah. any? I explained it. Perfectly. Is there an actual rule in game to tetherball? Nah. It's one v one, and you got to wrap it all the way around. Mm -hmm. So no, it's is that the okay? I hit it. You hit it. I hit it. You hit it. I slam it, mm -hmm. and it wraps around, and then I. That go, sounds I like win. college for me. Which way do you start going? <laughs> Whichever way you want. <laughs> <laughs> Explain that. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Unwrap that. My, what room, my roommate, it, it ended four. Uh, uh, where'd you go to college again? Uh, you went to college? I went for about two weeks. Uh, no, I went to East Mississippi Community College. Is that like a last chance you type? That is. <laughs> <laughs> literally. That like, is last <laughs> chance you. Yeah. That's the actual last chance you school. They used the Oh, that yeah. was oh, That's, that's the, the last chance Oh, too. shit. Yeah. So you went yes. there? Was yeah. there ball players? Uh, yeah, yeah. There was basketball and football. I went to scuba, and then I went to the other campus, which was up closer to me. Scuba? Scuba? Scuba. That's where the show is. Scuba. Oh, yeah. Last Chance You, the one on Netflix, was in Scuba. That's right. Scuba, yeah. Mississippi. Scuba was about an hour and 15 south of me. It was in the middle of nowhere. And then I did a year down there, and then I did a year at, uh, at, at Mayhew, which was closer to me. I have to ask the obvious. What was the scuba scene like Yeah. in Scuba? Did they have a scuba Here's program? the ironic. It didn't exist. It's just out in the middle of a field. And to, to the party scene was to drive everybody's car out in the middle of the field and keep your headlights on and drink beer. Wait, how did like the future all pro receivers get pussy? Um, that's a good question. There's not a lot. Pussy's not in ready supply. Meridian's uh, a little bit south. The University of Alabama is about an hour away, and Mississippi State University is about an hour away. Damn, you gotta you gotta look for that pussy. You gotta go get it. You yeah. gotta go. You go it. scuba diving. Yeah, yeah, you got. <laughs> you, you, you got now. Meridian's not far away. It's about thirty minutes, but it, you gotta go. You gotta go hunt for it. Scuba. You gotta yeah. hunt for the pussy. What a cool ass name. Uh, yeah, S C O O B A. Oh, oh it's an acronym. Oh, too. oh. yeah. Scuba. I don't know if I like scuba anymore. Is that where that uh that big ass coach the the big white guy Jason something? No, no, no. That's Buddy Stevens. Buddy. J Jason was the independence coach in Kent. In Kansas in season three. Okay. The first two seasons were in Mississippi. Got it. And that was Buddy Stevens. Tremendous asshole. Yeah, why do all the top athletes who come from community college go places in, like, Mississippi, Kansas? California's because, got a lot. Because but they, there's not many JUCO football systems. you got to just put them in the cool places. No, you put them – Oh, you know, like, sh like, this is prison. Get them away like, from like, like, yeah. them. where it's all ball. It's, it's the, the nothing – like, every – Juco in Mississippi is in a tiny town of about 300 people. They're not anywhere near uh, an actual city. You just got to get there, and, and it's all ball, it's all school, and, and get yourself right. But that sucks for the guys who go to the Juco who aren't going to be in the NFL. But nobody goes to Juco. Nobody goes to play Juco football passion. because they love football. They go, it's last yeah. chance. You, This is your last chance. You, then, Where did Cam Newton go to Juco? Blinn in Texas. Was that also a last chance? You? Uh, yeah, all of them are. I mean, he literally got kicked out of Florida for stealing a laptop. But then what happens to, like, I would assume there's a ton of players, like probably 95% of the roster, that is just their last year. There are dudes who do that for the love of the game. Yeah, no, there are. There are there are high school dudes in Mississippi who that is their ceiling. And then they'll go do the – they'll get scholarships for the first two years. That's two years of school paid for, and then they'll have to go find an actual college and an actual job. Yeah, I'm kind of fascinated right. by it. 14 JUCO – schools in mississippi i believe uh, kansas got a big one california's got a big one texas has a big one um but otherwise there's not i don't think there's juco football schools they're like in those four states hmm. elon musk i always got one jewish really yeah he's like um, can you come out as he jewish? came out yeah he went to auschwitz and was like uh i'm jewish what <laughs> i think so yeah he <laughs> he's just doing it for the jokes he may have but he said like i'm aspirationally jewish oh yeah Okay. Two thirds of my friends Has are Jewish. Has that ever been said? Aspirationally, Jewish. I think he said that. I mean, the George Santos, I'm Jewish. <laughs> Why are there two tetherball poles? I don't know. I feel like Hank doesn't really know either, but he's just—he doesn't know what he's doing, but he's doing it. Hank, what are you doing? Hank, what are you doing? Hey, Hank. Hank. Oh, he says he's setting up tetherball. How do you sense. play tetherball? How do you play it? Come here. Come over here and let's talk. Come here. Let me, I want to hear how to do it. This is for Friday? When's it for? It's Friday. We're going to play tetherball? We can get it set up. We're struggling with the setup? Uh, we just need a base. Wait, his mic's not, his on. Mic's not on. on. Try it again. I think tetherball is like the, the most simple game 
of all time. Do you know how to play? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. You just how? have to wrap it around. You have to. You're on one side. I'm on the other. And it's whoever can get it wrapped around. Is that a point or is the game over? The other person's side. I don't know. I don't know if there's. So like you don't know. Official rules. I think it's. I think it's game one game. Hey Jeff. Oh. oh hey. Oh. Jeff. Hi. Hey Jeff. Can Jeff. you hear us? Thanks, Hank. Yeah. What's up? All right. So I know you've done the rounds today. I. I thought of an idea that could solve all this. Sorry, let me stretch. Sorry. Uh-oh, oh, Chicago wow. Yaks. Right okay, all right, all right. Yup. All right, all right so um, I thought of an idea, and actually it was an idea I was kicking around a while ago. I, I don't think I ever said it to you, but a solution. The Dozen is a great league. You founded it. You're the host. You're incredible at it. What if you stepped down as commissioner and had someone else be the commissioner? That would solve all these issues. Would it not... Uh, there, there is there is a deal that's being potentially put out there. Uh, teams are going to be upset if this goes through, but also nobody's publicly supported me or the league. So hey, like, hey, 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 here hey, we are. Hey, whoa, 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 whoa. Zero, zero tweets, zero tweets. Whoa, 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 my ass. Whoa, I, ha- I haven't. Fuck I, you. I haven't not supported you. You just said you supported the experts, Brandon, which is fair. I, I respect that. Jeff, I have not. A dozen not for life. You. I'm keeping. We're keeping all roads open. Actually, no, you can't say that too because. Uh, oh, okay, that's fair. I Frank, that. Frank definitely supported you. I think Frank does as well. Fine, that's fair. Okay, so what what's the deal that's in place? Point being, uh, it, the offer apparently is we'll see. I didn't accept it on air because I didn't like the terms of the deal on radio. Uh, the deal would be completely rescinded. Okay. Um, back to where they started. Okay. Um, Kirk wants wanted a the number one overall seed in the tournament. Uh, I did not like that part of it. He hasn't um, earned it. Dave okay. would be back in. They did win the championship. That's uh, last Dave year, motherfucker. Would be, Dave would be in the league again with ZD, um, and Kirk would get a buy. No one seed guaranteed. Well, I have. A I co- also will be installing. Uh, if this goes through, Will Compton will be the head of the Players and Captains Association, and all future moves will be voted on by the captains, and I will have no say in the matter. What about okay, the captain I, I of Team what, I, uh, of, what, of Team Smokin? What, what, I, I have I, I don't want to trade Kirk, Jeff. I, I he he's saying he would cancel it from his end. But he you can't cancel it. It's it's already gone through. I saw the graphic. The graphic was put out there. The trade is official. So you're gonna be. So now you officially are saying that you're gonna be the end of the dozen. I I have some things to think about. Okay. I do. Yeah. That is what's at stake here. Yeah. I, yeah, I guess I guess it's true. I do. I hold the dozen. The, the, in the bit palm of really my hands. got me this morning. I will what? say. What bit? The bit. The bit was clipped in an unfair way for you, where everyone did think you traded him back. By the way, that was kind of. Well, now it's getting confusing, Jeff, because you're telling me that we're trading him back. So is it a bit? Is it not a bit? Well, it's What's game real on? life. Yeah, that's what I don't. Art imitates life. I mean, I'm 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 gonna be forced to make a, a move here if if Dave's apparently he says he's poaching all the top teams. So well, he hasn't poached the experts. He hasn't poached. Team Smokin. He has poached Yak. He what? <laughs> he has poached the Yak. Yeah, so it puts me in a, a not an advantageous situation. Although nothing has been finalized. I still need to see the offer, so I'm not... Hmm. And and we also came up with the idea, Jeff, if an independently wealthy person came along and decided to fund the dozen, that would change things. I have not gotten any word on that, though. Well, what, what, what would you say if I know an independently wealthy person... Mm-hmm. Who would potentially fund the dozen for the yak to get the number one seed? Former piston. Could I, would, I would entertain it. Okay. No, it is a cursed seed, by the way. Worth noting, number one seed, not a great seed. Okay, yet. so all right, let me. Pending a Ravens this way, Super Bowl. Then. Ravens win the Super Bowl, an independently wealthy person would potentially fund the the dozen, and you would write into the script that the yak wins it all. I mm-hmm. did hear that offer this morning. That could change the script, so you guys win. Yeah. Would you be open? It's always to that? been an option in the script. Just hasn't happened yet. Okay. All right. I'm team Thank dozen you, team Jeff Dilo. No, yeah, no, it's a little bit of fuck you, Jeff, because I already did that and you didn't see it. Oh, well, privately, but I, I, we're doing content here, so. I was also, just one about. more thing. Uh, Kirk started all this, um, and he has made your life a living hell. And your reward for him is to give him the number one seat and a buy. Give him everything he I wants at every him, turn. I did not say I'm giving the number one seat. Okay. Well, you just it. said he's going to get a buy. I'm thinking about I need I want Dave back in the league. Why does My Kirk why does Kirk get anything? Kirk did this to you. <laughs> there will be also also I'm not gonna leave smocking high and dry here. Kirk did this to you. Yeah, what what's what what do we get back for this? What does the yak get? You haven't done anything. That's true. 
I, I, part of this is that Dave basically <laughs> said that you were out. So, who? Dave said basically on the radio that you were out of the league. Me? Yes, he said. He said he referenced Lord you as as the Lord. one who started this all. Actually, I did text him. I was like, we should do Monday Night Wars. <laughs> I think we. I think we need to. <laughs> yeah. Now, now that you say that, I mean, can I? You're can I right. Elephant in the room to <laughs> Titus. Titus, if you get Mincy back, you're just going to cut him and sign Liam, right? I don't know what we're going to do, Jeff, because I don't know. We got to we got to change the camera onto these yeah. guys. This is the fucking dumbest thing I've ever seen. <laughs> they don't. They're trying to figure it out. Like a Napoleon. Go ahead, try again. Go. Yeah, go. Um, Jeff, I, I don't. I don't know that we're going to do that, Jeff. I don't know what to do anymore. Um, Seems like I over, overplayed my hand. Oh, Hank's too good at this. Oh. Spider. This is, oh, this what? is not. But this oh. Is, yeah, I don't really understand how tetherball works. What? That, <laughs> oh. You're both going in a direction. You're trying to wrap the ball all the way around the pole right, in the direction but, you're facing. Uh, so oh, Hank's about so to win. Hank's, yeah. it's, got a, it's got a wrap. You can, oh. you can still stop it. Yeah, yeah. you can stop. <laughs> so you look, this is a game that's just made to look you make you look like an idiot. Like girly, too. Napoleon yeah. Napoleon Dynamite. All right, Jeff. Well, uh, so uh, is Dave going to accept this deal? Is Kirk going to accept this deal? No, he walked out of the the, the room because I did not take the deal initially because I didn't like the deal initially. But didn't Dave tweet uh, a little bit ago? There's a deal on the table, another deal on the table, or somebody? I'd did? have to see. I'm 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 you behind? A little bit. I've been on shows now, so and I'm trying to figure it out. Okay. Well, good luck, Jeff. All right, uh, so I got a proposal. You know, I got, as as the captain of Smocking, uh, you guys freeze. No, no, we're right here. Jeff. Oh, okay. Jeff, oh. as the captain of Smokin, you do not have to peace Kirk. I will. I will voluntarily. This, trade. this is. I, I. I know people are going to want to try and say this is an appeasing of Kirk, but also like I do want Dave back in the league, and I would. Well, like this is how you get Dave back in. This is how you get. I'll do it. I'll do the trade. I'll. I'll read. I'll rescind the trade. Uh, my only stipulation is that I get to write all the questions for the experts. Every match the experts win, oh, I get to write the questions. That's all I ask. Let me write every question for the experts. Every experts match. And I will, really? I will voluntarily trade Kirk back for Mincy. KB, we're going to need you to get Sheed on the line. Um, yeah, would I mean, you be open to Rasheed Wallace being the commissioner? Re like, Rash like Rasheed Wallace? Rasheed yes. Wallace? Yeah. Yeah. Rasheed, yeah. Yes. Rasheed, yeah. <laughs> I'd be open to it. Okay. Well, that's not a no. Yeah. No, I mean I'm I'm still gonna do my thing, but I'll have no say in any of the the moves and trades going forward. Is your I think this trade I think this trade would have would have been passed through yesterday if captains would have voted, but that's just me. I was fine with it. Yeah, it didn't scare me. Yeah, I had no problem with it. Yeah, I don't know why. Fine this, with it. This of all things bothered everybody. What one of the best trivia? But he does say he says moves. that he doesn't like the idea that that one team dave said this one team was making no clear way to get better though i'd argue kirk was going to dump those two guys off the team anyway so if anything it was saving their life in the dozen um and they were all kind of they were not playing well anyway so they were they were going to rebuild okay um titus you don't have to i mean if this ha if this happens it may not be accepted it's maybe over at this point he left the negotiating room he was he was done with it hmm. you don't have to you also don't have to like keep mincy either i love mincy but the other thing is, Jeff, you could just wait out Dave because I was saying that the barrier to like create another league is very daunting. Well, he did. So that's that's where on radio he said this wouldn't launch till the summer, and I immediately became less worried. Yeah, yeah. How do you feel about Gooch? Oh yeah. I mean, I, does, is Go Gooch made a clear New York play, a clear anti-Chicago move there? I don't know if he's allowed in Chicago. So. Why did? Why was it clear? Anti Chicago. I don't know. Gaz, Gaz, Gaz made it seem like it was a, an anti Chicago move. So I don't well, know. That makes no to, sense. That's up to, that makes no sense. It's up to Hank and it's up to you and Hank. I don't think Gaz. Go, I don't think Gaz knows what he's talking about. That's for it's sure. Very, that could be the case. Yeah. I think Gooch was just mm. listen. The money that has been thrown around for this new Triv League. Oh, I stand no chance. I said I'll be. I'll be a. I'll well, be no, a the Ravens artist in two weeks if he does that. The Ravens I'll could be win the, another job. No. The Ravens could win the Super Bowl, Jeff, and then we'd have our funding for the dozen. No amount of money. Gets I also, made. I gotta say, I don't want the dozen to be for money. People get mad enough as it is, and it's for nothing. Yeah, agreed. Mm. Could you imagine if Mincy just cost Titus like ten grand the other night? That would rule. <laughs> that would actually be. <laughs> that <awesome>. would rule. <laughs> that would get more viewers. I think. Yeah, yeah. that would rule. That does. Don't Blame say that on someone else, Jeff. Don't say that point again. 
Don't say what you just said again. And Could you imagine if a mincy <laughs> fuck up cost somebody ten thousand? No, 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 that would be amazing. That would be amazing. That would be incredible. <laughs> All right, well, Jeff, I'm rooting for you. I, I have not signed any paperwork, just so you know. Um, I, I've told you. Are the Frank Etts still in the league? Absolutely. I'm team does. You see Frank? I'm playing out all my options. Is is there? Is this? I may. This may be like a fourth wall break. Get in trouble for it. He did. Frank sent out a tweet that doesn't seem like it was from Frank. Yeah, that might have been Jenks. His points. Yeah, it's like written like a poem. Yeah, yeah. there's rumors that like Frank, <laughs> yeah, Frank is like Drake. It's almost yeah. a like beat too. Race. Like yeah, the self confidence. <laughs> I just love the idea of Monday Night Wars. Don't you, Brandon? No. Why? You're a wrestling fan. I'm because I'm. I'm a dozen guy. It would be electric, though. Don't you wish, Jeff? Doesn't it make you wish you could just go back to the days where it was just me and PFT against everybody and your life was a little bit happier and we... Back to the OG act team of Big Cat, Roan, and Joey Molinaro. Just yeah. the old... Thing. Wait, he was on our team? Yeah. What? Big, you big... actually... You technically were the first team ever to have no fans. It was just you and two other employees. And it was you, Roan, and Joey, and then you... You swapped. I sent a really awkward text to Joey, like, "Hey, you've been replaced by Che." I don't even remember that. That was the very, very, out. very beginning. That was huh? a great trade. They want to get, yeah. yeah. All right. Well, Bad thank boy. you, Jeff. We'll see you later. Good All right. Luck. See you guys. Bye, Jeff. Bye, Jeff. Bye, Jeff. Uh, by the way, game time. You shouldn't have to worry about uh, buying tickets to your next big event. Game time is a fast and easy way to buy tickets for all sports, music, comedy, and theater events near you. Game Time is the only ticketing app that gives you complete peace of mind with your purchase. See the view from your seat before you buy so you know exactly what to expect when you arrive. All in prices show your total up front so you know you're getting a great deal without hidden fees. Buy tickets in seconds with two taps. Take the guesswork out of buying tickets with Game Time. Download the Game Time app. Create an account. Use code YAK for $20 off your first purchase. Terms apply. Again, create an account. Redeem code YAK for $20 off. Download Game Time today. Last minute tickets, lowest price guaranteed. All right, I got to go. We're currently at five workers. Yeah, you guys monitor ball. this. I'll yeah. see you guys yeah. on Friday. Oh, damn. Apologies, I have to run to the airport. Uh, Safe travels. Go by R- Rough and Rowdy tomorrow night. Also, we'll figure out something fun for KB's uh, birthday. We gotta figure out. Yeah, that. you got the yeah. Jerry stream. You gotta figure out. You got the dozen. You gotta KB's, figure out. Well, I don't have to figure out anything. It's gonna be a mentally productive flight. Oh no, that was. What do I have to figure out? For nothing for mine. Oh, I thought you were you were uh, going considering your options. Didn't you just tell Jeff you were? You haven't. Oh, my options are just whoever gives me the most money. Okay, all right, fair enough. It's it's. I've been. I've probably been the only one who's been as brutally honest as possible from the beginning of this. Right. We'll go get on a plane. All right. See you guys. See ya. See ya. I thought that motherfucker would never leave. <laughs> uh, we're now at six. We got six. That seems low for a tether ball, if I'm being honest. Yeah, the ball should not be that low. I now. don't think it should be. Shouldn't start from that low of a point. That's too much string. Looks like your ball sack, Brandon. It does. It looks a lot like my ball sack. Mm-hmm. And especially because it's just one. That's almost identical to my that ball sack. That was an aggressive slap. I, that was a ass smack. Hmm. All right. So tetherball was our is our next. We got to give credit idea. credit to uh, Max, by the way. Why Max? Good lunch yesterday. Good lunch, but it was late. I don't know if we do have to give him credit. I think it was worth the wait. What did you guys think of the pizza today? It was very high-quality pizza. I know you probably didn't, didn't eat it. it. No. Didn't eat it, no. Uh, yeah, great pizza. High-quality um, pizza. Yeah, that's probably my one note, I would say. Professor on pizza. The pizza. Shout out to Professor pizza. It was pizza. great. Yeah, it's good. The food, I mean, the Jamaican food was the best I've it had. It was so good. It was good. very good. Perfectly juicy, tender, The brisket was good. I don't even like beans, and I was eating beans. I was like, J- uh, Jamaica has less people than Mississippi. Really? Less than yeah. 3 million people? Yeah. How many people should make a half? I think 2.8. Oh, wow. That's, that's, uh, and look what they've done. What's a can't, Mississippi's 2.9. So that probably is the closest in population. 2.828. What? Damn. I thought Mississippi would be bigger. No, it's not very big. It's the smallest SEC state. There is more Jamaicans in Brooklyn than on the actual island, though. Is that true? <laughs> yeah. No way. No, there are a lot in, of, There's not even 2.9 million people in Brooklyn. There's, so. more, there's more Jamaicans outside of Jamaica than on the oh, oh, <laughs> There's a okay. lot, of, there's they, a lot uh, in England, yeah. too, right? They like to work at resorts. They're, they're everywhere. Yeah. <laughs> there, there's a lot here. <laughs> I, okay. This are is, are that really just going to play in front of us when we're trying to do it? Like, Guys, we're trying to do a show. I mean, they're... The, close the Ooh. door. The, go- the door's a glass. For how boring this is, you can't stop watching it. Yeah, incredibly I distracting. I love I it. I cannot stop watching it. I don't know. I'm kind of in on it. Why is he punching it? Oh, 
I don't know if there's – is there a competitive right, tetherball? It's a closed hand. Do they have a championship? It does make you look – even the strongest yeah, hit, it, it makes looks you weak. Look flamboyant. Yeah. <laughs> flamboyant as fuck. There's that shouldn't count. That wrapped up. Okay. Is there any, like, bad that, that, boy that tetherball? Sportsmanship. There's got to be some, like, sick tetherball players uh, out there. Man, but I don't know if they look sick. Oh, they probably look physically yeah, ill. Yeah. Written, yeah. I mean, I'll look at it. I'll look at the – could you show us the best tetherball players in the world? So I I searched on YouTube tetherball championship. The first one is from the Ultimate Fighter. The fourth one is a third grader versus a fifth grade girl. (laughs) (laughs) Uh, The third one is from regular show on Cartoon Network. So Uh, It looks like TJ Thailand. (laughs) Thailand's a big tetherball They get it done. No. Well, maybe not. The third grader versus a fifth. I mean, I'd watch girl. the third grader versus fifth grade girl, but <laughs> yeah, I mean, play just, that. You want to yeah. gamble on it? Huh. Pause. Yeah, it. Let's, let's do let's it. Oh, that girl looks pretty good. Oh, at the, it. dude, she's damn good. She's nice. Fuck, she's great. Uh oh. Oh. Hey, what? What? Oh, she's oh, doing oh. tricks. Oh, she she's helpless, dude. She can't do anything. Ball. Oh, she might take back over though. So I think that we need the oh. floor markings too, because I'm pretty sure you can't. Oh, they can't cross. These two are They're incredible. nuts. The, they, they are the best Holy in the world. Shit. They are the best. Saved. Uh-oh. Look oh. at that arm flail. The meta is just hitting it straight up. Is this the... Oh, you uh, can catch it. Almost certainly go for, can't you catch it. You gotta go for altitude. Yeah, because they, wow. they they can't jump and hit Is the this heart. the greatest tetherball match of all time? I think this this is <laughs> awesome. Why is there a rack of clothes at that school? What? Yeah, that's odd. Oh, oh man. That, see, that shouldn't count as a block either. Well, she's, uh, Third grader happened? versus fifth grader at tetherball. Oh, got a new competitor? <sighs> oh, no. in the face. In the face. Oh, no. <laughs> right in the face. All right, Kyle Geo, guess where is this? Oh, yeah. Dude, I don't even know what country we're I can't called. tell what's going on either. Oh, let's be honest. It looks like Australian oh, right in the face. <laughs> Wait. Boom. Oh. Oh. That could be like New Zealand. That's a third grader's fault. Oh, gee. yeah! You got to get outside the swing zone. Wait, what's that game over there? Is that what are they playing? No, not over there. The the one that just go. Yeah. They were like hitting a big ball. With you know, TJ is not controlling the camera, right? Uh, zoom, <laughs> zoom out, TJ. Ooh, oh. I. Ah. There's two channels I like right now. This one and one just called Color, where it's just a it's one color for like two hours, and then it, the stream ends. It's oh, a live wake up, stream. Mincy. Um, nice. so. <laughs> I, y'all can watch this for a while? Probably not. I don't think I could watch that. I no. was very impressed by the tall girl. They, I thought both girls were impressive. I'd watch them compete. and Oh, there goes Professor Pizza. And he actually looks like a professor. Mm-hmm. Right, so that's him. Uh, anything else I got to hit right here? Who can, yeah, who can do the high noon read who's here? Right, Mook, you can, right? I can do the High Noon ad if you'd like. Um, High Noon. Sip on summer flavors in the middle of winter, introducing the all-new High Noon Snowbird Pack, featuring the perfect mix of winter and summer flavors. The A-Pack includes two new flavors, raspberry and plum. Yum, yum, yum. Alongside High Noon Classics, peach and lemon, all made with real vodka and real juice. The Snowbird Pack is a winter exclusive, so get it before the ice melts. Track down the pack nearest you at highnoonspirits.com. Did you add in yum, yum, yum? I yum? did, yeah. That was a, that was a little addition. Yeah, ad pretty good. Yeah. yeah. Brandon? Hi, Mook. Have you uh, found anything on Tommy's phone yet that displeases you? No. I uh, The last two days I've gone to bed so early I, I haven't checked. I need to do my phone check tonight. Um, everything seems fine. Everything seems above board. Everything. Okay. Although I, I did say, I asked him yesterday, have you texted anybody in – from the act and he said yeah mark titus oh no so he's on an individual text with you don't worry about it so what could be happening there or is there is that a is that a walk-off a walk-off it's a walk-off that's a (laughs) walk-off that was just titus has been making power moves out here it's just a why would he walk off after when when confronted about his text message with my son a little fishy. I don't know. It's, you know. Mook, I can't see you. I know. It's every day. Right. That was good. Yeah, I like that. That felt good. They hate when I do that, and I, I probably shouldn't do it. But. You're good at it. I am good Whenever at it. Whenever you Mike. throw yeah. something, it's, like, impressive. Yeah. yeah, I'm good at it. 
Uh, does anybody know? Have you have either of you talked to Tommy separately and independently? No, I'm afraid to. Okay, I would be fine with it. Okay, the man's going to be the future of this world, really. Yeah, not just the company, but the world. So if you want to get in early, you should do it now. Why are you? What's the the dynamic between him and his other sibling? Um, so Tommy is the uh, the out there one. He's the one I have to get on to go to bed. He's the one that I have to wake up. He's the one that I have to physically make. And the others are very, very responsible. And, and I'll tell you like this. I, I waited until Tommy turned 13 to get him a cell phone, and I got his 11-year-old brother a cell phone this year because uh. he's as responsible as Tommy is. He's more responsible than Tommy is, even though Tommy's two years older. Okay. Um, Tommy hates the eight-year-old. Is he? Has, is there any alliances? <laughs> Wait, uh, so I think that's natural. Why does he hate your sibling? Or? Yeah, the, well, the the eight-year-old really gets under his skin. And he he. The only time I hear him yell is when he yells at the eight-year-old. Uh, also, when he's playing Fortnite, he'll yell during Fortnite. Um, what they, happened? What happened? Valid. Uh, somebody knocked the the mic stand over. Yeah. Huh. Um, but uh, have y'all ever, TJ? Maybe you know. Is there a phenomenon of of kids just? yelling when they play Fortnite, like like yeah i think that started in like the early 80s or late 70s whenever video games got popular sometimes if you lose in a video game you get angry that's weird no 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 tommy yells happy like oh, he's it will joy. Sound, yeah it will sound like i, I would be concerned like it'll, it'll be the loudest yelling i've ever heard from him but he will be yelling he will be screaming and yep. laughter he's probably but, shitting on noobs yeah. Oh, speaking, d have you seen the clip, TJ, of the kid who's live, uh, I think on Xbox, shitting his pants, and his yeah. mom comes in, he was like, yeah. you gotta go to the bathroom, and he's like, <laughs> yeah. now, old, now. Yeah. I don't know what the shit fuck all the over situation his pants. is there, it's a mom yelling, it's like, you're literally shitting right now, I think, he's, I think the original <laughs> clip he's playing, like, World of Warcraft or something. No, I Tough don't. list. There's I don't no World of Warcraft is I, the uh, Leroy Jennings game, right? Uh, Jenkins. Leroy Jenkins. Leroy Jenkins. That was yeah. fake, by the way. No. Devastating. Don't fucking say that. Yeah. Why'd you do that? Don't fucking say that. Yep. Still funny. <laughs> what do you mean? How was it fake? It was like AI sound bites. Whoa, 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 whoa. Up. Benjamin. <laughs> whoa, hold on. Get whoa, over come here. here. What the f He did that on purpose. Yeah, of course he Get did. over here, big boy. It worked. What? How'd you learn to tie a tie like that? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> Guy like you, good with the hands. How we doing, boys? Good. How are you? i uh, doing good. Just about to. I'm dressed up to tape a commercial. Really? Well, I don't know. Yeah, little dude. Did you hear the news? I saw the trade. Off, so the offer was he has an hour to accept, right? Yeah, you might be on Team Smokin' for the third time in the last. I'm gonna be hours. honest. Uh, that's gonna take some serious doing. Oh, you're gonna say no. I mean, after the way I was dismissed by Ken Jack. No, no, we're saying no. We're saying no. We're be, we're, I'm going to say no to, to – So you wouldn't saying, accept the trade back. I, I'm not saying I wouldn't. I'm just saying oh, – I, I'm not saying I said no. Well, you guys have got to come together. We just got to talk. That's all. Well, you both have mics in front of you. Well, yeah. But well, that's I, awesome. But I got to tell I really – I got I to gotta, I gotta go to Oh, yeah, he's got yep. – That's some hot-ass coffee you got. Yeah, yeah. I think <laughs> I that's the <laughs> hottest coffee. I've never seen anything. <laughs> that's a chimney. <laughs> it's piping, yeah. All right, so are you going to run a comb through your hair or – No, the point of the commercial is to look uh, ridiculous. Disheveled. Yeah, so okay, I it's, it. it's dude wipes, Stella Blue commercial. Uh, okay. Nice. Dude wipes and Stella a Blue. Dual. <laughs> a dual. Coffee and shitting. <laughs> it is a perfect pairing. <laughs> Uh, why is he carrying that bag so weird? I like to see him in trying to figure why out. Why is he carrying? Uh, put it around your shoulder, man. <laughs> no, that's how he walks. Remember at the airport? <laughs> he walks, Look at he that. Drags his suitcase. That makes it as heavy as possible. <laughs> Slapping his ankles. Uh, uh, it's just not a functioning human being. Um, where were we at? Uh, Before he came in in the suit, which Tom I mean, yelling Leroy Jenkins at yeah. video is fake. That's bullshit. Why did you go get your bag? Because you asked me what Tommy and I were talking about, and uh, yesterday on the show... Is he in that bag? Um, I got bullied by Nick and, and you, and, and Tommy's response I didn't love. I was displaying my Pokemon collection, which is a, an Abra, um, which I thought was a pretty-ass card, and now that I see it, it does say basic on the card oh, right shit. there. Is that all you got? Um, but I was at Costco yesterday, and uh, I stepped my game up. They Whoa. had this for sale. They had the five pack. So I'm I'm in the Pokemon. Oh, no. I'm officially in the Pokemon business, and Tommy Walker and I are going to talk business on a regular basis. I think so. That's that's the news. So your your boy has a five pack. That's awesome. how are you going to incorporate Tommy into this five pack? I don't know. We're gonna trade. We're gonna um, we're just gonna set up a little economy. So you're gathering inventory to enter the market. I'm entering the market. I'm officially entering the market. I'm entering the Tommy Walker 
Uh, yeah. Well, w- what would stop me from going to Costco and just buying Tommy the exact same five pack? No, because this five pack is is different. Because this five pack, see, has uh, the cloth. <laughs> so good luck finding the cloth. That's big. Uh, an orthworm. Um, you say orth. Like, yeah. Like an orthopedic worm. Yeah, it's an orthworm. Let me see what we got here. Do you think? I feel like you've opened it poorly. Wait, what the fuck? There's one card. No, there's 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 yeah, canisters so, of. So those are like the big boys, and you got packs. And then they're in here. Tins. Yeah, you got little tins. All right, well, I'm in the business, so there, that's all. Well, Tommy would be interested. Yeah. What the? This was so much more money than I thought it was. Uh, they're so expensive. <laughs> they run. Uh, this was like fifty bucks or something, which I was yep. expecting it to. Oh, the packs are in here. Yep. Huh. Dude, you can get a big hitter out of one of those. You still buy this shit? Not Pokemon. I do. Uh, I bet that was fifty nine dollars. He just said fifty. So oh, you say fifty? Like I wasn't like listening. Yeah. Yeah. Jeff, Jeff texted me. Jeff's going through. What's going on? Uh, it's just. Uh, it's yeah, just, I feel bad. Yeah. All right. Well, anytime we can have fun by by tearing something down somebody's <laughs> built for the last four years, <laughs> I think we should do it. Where is this altruism coming for you? No, no. Where it's, is, it's, it's, is, I think this is fucking this ridiculous. Is, this is all self motivated. Who's self-motivated? The, your your desire to keep the dozen afloat. No, yeah, I think it's great. You're operating your own self-interest, but you're you're, no, no, you're no, masking I'm it not. as though you care about Jeff and that you're really brokenhearted for Jeff. No, I just think it's kind of. I think this whole thing's a little stupid. Uh, also, I wasn't scared. Like I I kind of like the Kirk thing. I wanted Kirk on your team. I think that's more interesting. Yeah, I don't know. I, I think that's way more interesting than, than him with, you know, Rico. I can't keep track of where we're at with it all. Oh. All right. Uh, Rough and Rowdy, did he read the Rough and Rowdy returns to Providence tomorrow, January 25th, with 20 amateur matchups and boxing chaos like you've never seen before. Dave, Big Cat, Robbie, Roan, Caleb Large, Jersey Jerry, and Frank the Tank all return on commentary for three hours of entertainment. Main events include a dwarf title fight, Bobby Lang defending his heavyweight belt against a 6'6 monster, Vicky D versus a 39 year old angry mom, and Lord Burns versus backflip ninja. With a live ring girl contest after the final bell. The pay-per-view is available to watch on buyrnr.com with replay available until the following week. Come watch New England locals settle their feuds with fist and spit. It's gonna really spit. fist and spit. Huh? <laughs> We're settling feuds with spit. spit. <laughs> it's gonna be a night full of pure disrespect. That's rough and rowdy. All right. Tomorrow night, buyrnr.com. Uh I've gotten into Brandon, you'd like this. I've gotten into wives packing their lunch for their husband coal miner yeah and that's is on tiktok or yeah um and it's it's a er, different one every day or what it's pretty much but it's like ham and cheese sandwich dr pepper dr pepper yeah dr pepper dr pepper snack cake snack cake yeah snack cake snack cake yeah. chips graham crackers snack cake <sighs> Got to make you feel a little better. Can you? <sighs> the Appalachian diet. What's the peeing situation in a coal mine? I don't know. It's crazy to me that it's still like a. a th- Do you know thing. coal miners? Yeah, we lived next to them. I figured you like, did. So a lot of people from my high school would go to the mine straight out of. Got, that's crazy. Oh yeah. Like they graduate on Friday, Monday morning. They're they're in the coal mine. I think it's still as hard as it always has been. They're just underground there's, for ten hours. There's been no like improvements to the lives of coal miners. It's just still. I'm not positive. I don't know either. It's a fascinating. I think they probably. I don't know. They were. They used to die in mass from the, from the black lung pulmonary issues. Yeah. I think they're fine on that end, but I think it's still a rigorous job. Yeah, ten hours underground. Like that's disorienting at the very least. What are what do they actually do down there? They're they're, they're I think they're getting coal. Digging at it. I actually have yeah. no idea. No, what what's the physical? I can't even picture what it's like down. There. What's the physical mannerisms they go through? Is it the old pickaxe and they're just chopping away at it? The only way I know coal miners is Zoolander. That's all I know. Snow White and the Seven Dwarves, I think you're picturing. I don't know. That. I don't want to ruffle any feathers. Gems. I feel like they're just like maybe have joysticks now. <laughs> yeah. Because I don't know if they're the fittest dudes. Hey, but no disrespect. Uh, it's uh, I mean, if you do that for 30 years, you're a tough motherfucker. I don't, I don't know how anybody would ever do it. It's cr- yeah. yeah. It's coal mining country. So it's West Virginia. It's Pennsylvania, Kentucky. Appalachia, Eastern Kentucky. Yeah, it's all of that. Western Virginia. Yeah. yeah okay. okay. What are they doing in Perth again? What, what kind of mining is that? Oh, uh, they're uh, they're mining. Um, 
What are they mining? I forget. A lot of shit. But That's like they're, they're thriving down there. They're like businessmen. Are they salt? Is that salt? I don't know. It, it's something where they mine for like five days on and then they get like a week off. Petroleum industry. Let's go. Iron ore. An iron mine. Couldn't even. Yeah, it's like southern Ohio. Yeah. Oh. Aluminum, nickel, base metals, copper, lead, and zinc. What's the one that like powers all electronics? Cobalt? Is that it? I don't know shit about cobalt, and I feel terrible admitting that. I think there's like cobalt. <laughs> I don't even know what it is. <laughs> yeah. I, I don't. Like, what is cobalt? I know it's a, a it's something a brand. It's something a good. There's a there's a car that's a cobalt. I think. I, I think picture Chevy platinum. cobalt. Yeah. It's a color, right? Blue. Yeah. Cobalt. I know cobalt blue. That's all it's cobalt it. blue. That's all it really. Is. Oh, what color is chartreuse? Chartreuse? Yeah. I don't know. That was like a French term. Chartreuse? Yeah. Okay, so y'all don't know it either. All right. No. Sounds Cobalt like a name. is like part of like all rechargeable battery technology. I thought that was lithium. Man. That's another element that's involved in those batteries, yeah. But so Cobalt is needed for like all rechargeable batteries, and it's being mined by like slave labor in the Congo. So it's like a big concern. Word. Like what if they run out? What if they stop doing it? Like that's – it affects the entire Is earth. that the one where like there will be – you'll see them digging people out of small holes in the dirt? Like they've <laughs> – I, there's one that I, uh, you know uh, what I'm talking what? about. I think those might be cobalt mines, but yeah, yeah okay. that is, that's in oh, the so DRC. Oh, that's the Congolese shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, yeah. It's, it's, it, it's like, and it's not these big, huge holes that you think. It's just like there will be a wall of dirt, and you think, okay, well, nothing's there, and then all of a sudden they'll reach in and they'll grab a person. So and those, <laughs> those are those are illegal miners. So it's those are like makeshift mine shafts kind of thing. Uh, yeah, so that's they're why, like they're sneaking they in there. They're sneaking in there and getting. They're not supposed to be there. The thing is collapsing on them. That's why they're getting out. Oh, okay. shit. Oh. Zah, have you ever scurried over to Congo? Uh, uh, in transit. In transit. It's very far from Zimbabwe. So that's like... Africa's so massive, bro. The two Congos separated nations. Yep. The capitals are only separated by a river. Kinshasa but it's you, and in Brazzaville, and you can't... Cr but you can't cross the river? I believe so. So they pretty much can't visit each other yeah. but they they could see it, each other yeah, they're basically in the same city and they're th growing so rapidly yeah that's i mean they they what are the two countries the drc and this the republic of congo okay are they looking at each other a lot is that a big like i don't know if they have like stare downs like the or what? <laughs> how, like how big is the river <laughs> nah. it's a huge it's the congo river it's huge okay so but it'd be like still, uh, just a river it's right but it wouldn't be like me, uh, like me staring to the other side of the basketball court. It'd be bigger than that. N much, much. No. Okay. How much bigger are we talking? How many basketball courts? I don't know. It's probably like bigger than the Hudson. Okay. Yeah, you couldn't see from you couldn't see people from New York to Hoboken. You couldn't see those people. <laughs> Maybe. Like you couldn't see their faces. Ooh, is that a common or an uncommon? Uh, Radiant uh, stage two, uh, Skeller dirge. Skeller dirge. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, but doesn't it say if it's... What else you got in there? Commonality of it? Uh, how would you even know? What? How would you know? I don't know. I don't either. Uh, Here, I got. I can scan it. Uh, go ahead. Scan you have it. a Pokemon scanner? I have uh, a card scanner. Scan that bitch. Yeah, let me I forgot you were a card guy. Yeah, I'm getting back you into kinda it. You kind of hide your cardness. I, it just, S I've taken a back seat because I have no money. So what? Are you what, getting into it again? Yes. Luke, You're, what am I supposed to do with these? Yeah. <laughs> I've, I've been recorded, brother. What am I supposed to do with these? Do we trade them or do we like play them? I thought you were just gonna text Tommy about them. I don't know. That's, yeah, that's Tommy. Okay. I don't, I don't know. I wanted. To, I didn't have a plan other than I'm gonna get in the game, and then now I'm in, and I don't know. Yeah. I don't know what to do. Yeah, I don't know if guys are like dueling actively or they're just looking at them. Yeah. So I have. There's a place in my in my town uh, that that deals in Pokemon cards and they sells all video games, and every Friday at four o'clock, they shut it down and it becomes pokemon battles or or magic the gathering and this shit will go on all night <laughs> oh, yeah. so i think there are people actively doing it right there there are because i've seen some passionate conversations yeah and it's probably like guys my age <laughs> what do we got oh yeah dude, that's 45 a cents that's a big ticket right there. that's a big old john damn Don't, did you say john yeah i did say john okay so you were in the sell you were in the collecting and reselling game of yes sports cards yeah buy low sell high and I get so a raw card, grade it, see if you you're looking that. for not the type of the player, but the the type of card, the brand. Mix of both. 
mix of both. It depends where you can. So what was like your best, most euphoric opening reveal? I've never. So I've like pulled. I, there's a lot of people that break for a living. Like they'll buy like ten thousand dollar boxes of cards. They'll pick out the best rookies, send them off to PSA, get them graded, and they'll make like five, ten x their money. Um, I've pulled one card one time uh justin herbert card got it graded graded 10 the pack was like 50 bucks and i made like 700 bucks off of it but it's i got lucky but the the most packs are probably like the slot machines like it's they're only your, it's gambling your chance of winning is so low so low over right. christmas making money over christmas me and my brother uh and another friend of ours split a case of mosaic football it was like mm -hmm. 5500 bucks. I put in like a thousand bucks, which is huge for me. So you buy the pack for like how much? You can buy a box for like a grand. A grand. Yes. And then so it's So you probably it tricks you into thinking you're winning by giving you like a one like $200 card, one $300 card, but you still lost 500. Dude, a, a lot of times you can barely make like 200 bucks back. But then you can hit the one big one like a CJ Stroud one of one and mm. that card can go for like 200 grand. Yeah. But but um, you're ultimately losing money. Yes. It's like low it's, it's gambling. It's gambling. Yeah, it's gambling, gambling. For it's, sure. it's absolute over. gambling. Yeah. When did it become that? Cuz it didn't used to be that. Video uh, recently, I think Blackfire Innovations, it's like a laboratory in Las Vegas. They're coming up with some new ways to fuck us forever. Okay. Black Video games yeah. and gambling are now in cahoots. They're using the same mechanisms to trick you into playing more. So just getting you to come back for that little extra squeeze, that little mm -hmm. extra squeeze. Yeah. Huh. Yeah, cards, when I was growing up, it was just like, card comes out, uh, different set every year. You, you either buy the set or you chase the set or you get the best card in the set and then you yeah. you have a card. So it's like Tommy, when he plays video games, is does he have to ever spend money? Oh, buddy. Yeah, all the time. So yeah, yep. all the time. Yeah, uh -huh. I get, but I do have it set up to my phone, so um, I have to approve purchases. So there's so many crazy stories about like kids that have maxed out their parents' credit cards. What was it? Was it Caleb? When Caleb was on the Yankee, he told us a story of his brother spent was five it grand. No, what was it? Farm it was Clash of Clash Clans. Of Clans but in his defense, he was like a top ranked player in the world. Yeah, at point. was that like yeah. a Facebook game or was that a? iPhone, iPhone Mobile, game. Yeah. It was one of those. Yeah, Farmville was like Facebook, right? Yeah, Farmville. Yeah, I was always getting notifications. What was your guys' best uh, card trading card growing up? Any sport? Growing up, I had or the I King Griffey current. Junior rookie card when it was a th when it mattered um, for about ten years, and then it just didn't. It didn't ever turn into anything. At a Clemens rookie, I was a big uh, Jim Tomey guy. That was the first card I ever uh, got. Jim, Jim Tomey, mm -hmm. the star. Beast. I don't know. Who's the best baseball player from Mississippi? Uh, no, don't really. Uh, Dave Parker, maybe, for the Yikes. Pirates. It's uh, Dizzy Dean. It, it could be argued oh, from Mississippi, but. Dizzy Dean. Uh, he, he's also claimed by Arkansas, and they probably have a better claim to him. Um, I don't know. We don't really have a great legendary baseball. Football, we got the best. We might have the three best of all time, but baseball, we, we don't have anybody. Th who are they? Jerry Rice, Walter oh Payton. My God. Jerry Rice, Walter Payton, and then obviously not greatest of all time, but Brett Favre. Those those are our big three in football. Yeah, Roy Oswalt, probably our best ever. Roy Oswalt, uh, Charlie Hayes, I didn't know. I forgot G. Walker. Oil Can Boyd, I remember. He played for the Red Sox. Oil Can the Boyd? Dennis Boyd, yeah, Oil Can. Had a huge cocaine crack crack cocaine problem is that why they called him oil can no they uh, i don't know why they called him spencer oil. Haywood, uh, cool pop yeah Bell. very similar <laughs> oh yeah he's from starkville he was, was he actually hitting the pipe during the playoffs uh oil can boy uh, or, or haywood 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 probably was yeah but late 70s nba willing to talk winning time with anyone who's down late 70s early 80s nba was all drugs yeah it was all drugs they painted him to yeah. be like a a full-blown junkie you should read the book brandon were you alive that when like inspired the that the, they made the show out of yeah sure you don't have to i mean i kind of know yeah. what happened it was, by, it was jeff, jeff perlman but they he goes in depth about haywood it's really it's really good okay brandon were you alive when you could buy cocaine over the counter no 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 okay. no what happened to quaaludes i think they like ran out like the dodo they just like part. literally ran out they went extinct that whatever chemical <laughs> So yeah, they, they weren't being made at, at the at the same cycle they were being consumed. Yeah, I think I think we're out. Of, we as a society are quaaludes out of quaaludes. are gone. 
When did? But when, they were so prevalent. Yeah. They. I just know from Wolf of Wall Street. That's, yeah. that's my Quaalude knowledge. You ever do a lewd? Never. No. No. Wouldn't wouldn't even really know what it is. Is it a pill? The drug was discontinued. Yeah. In in the uh, in 1985. Pfizer. 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 They stopped doing that and they created COVID. Took away quaaludes. You guys have any like desperation scenarios where like all right, if this happens, I will try hardcore pills. Uh no, no, I don't think I do. What would be a scenario like that? If if like the bottom fell out, money wise or or what? Yeah, like no job, like job done, money gone. Have you ever fantasized about? I have, yeah, because I know. <laughs> I mean, everyone knows like how awesome that would be for the first few months, hours, oh. yeah. weeks. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. I bet, I bet weeks. I bet weeks. I bet you'd be like in heaven for a couple of weeks and then it would all come crashing down yes maybe hours maybe months i don't know yeah i don't either i don't know i don't know that i'm not familiar i mean i barely no recreational drug use whatsoever so i don't i don't know i almost did a perk one time <laughs> what, a, what a sentence that was <laughs> it was uh the scariest moment of my life i got home from college I almost did a zen <laughs> <laughs> you did you want a three no i'm good I uh I was doing Xanax at college, and that summer I was working at a, a pizza shop down in uh, Jersey, South Jersey, and it was full of just like illegals. It was like dudes that have gotten there for the summer to work for cash. Yeah. And the whole summer I was like, "Fuck, I would love a Xanax, like whatever," <laughs> and I would like talk to them about it. And the one day, sounds like it wasn't on accident. The the one day the guy Videl was like, "You just want a perk? Like I, I chop ch- uh, cheesesteaks every day, like on perks. It feels amazing." I think all of those guys in the kitchen do. All of them are doing perks. And I didn't realize that until, yeah. like, he was just like, yeah. And he pulled out, like, a bottle. He had, like, 60 on him. And he, like, offered it to me. And I was, like, very close to doing a perk. And I think it was You didn't do it? I didn't I think you're the type of guy that would. <laughs> Thanks. Thanks, Kyle. Never you? To take, give it a shot? I accidentally took a fi- oh, I purposely took a five milligram oxy for my bursitis and then i, I forgot and then i started drinking and it was like the best feeling ever now what is bursitis is that just chronic the pain? inflammation of the bursa sac and your knee mm-hmm. okay all right yeah see uh, oxy does that oxy take you up or take you down down uh, down or just yeah. it deadens everything down. it's a down yeah. okay all right were you ever influenced to do like painkillers no no it's a that's a that's a big time that's problem definitely there. a columbus thing though columbus yeah i mean that's a midwest yeah, thing yeah right, it's, that's a big time problem where i'm from so we i don't do any i if i had surgery i'd throw my painkillers away i don't even do them like when i need them because that's just like yeah that's just you can't be doing that i don't know i'd rather suck it up than fall into that trap so yeah. Yeah, Joe, what's the what's the stand up scene like with drugs? No. A lot of coke. Still? Uh, not as much, but like you know the guys who are doing yeah. it. Yeah. It's a big like we had a good set, let's do a bump. Like no, no one's going oh, up really? for coke. So drug. it's never before the set. I would coke. imagine anything to make you f- chase that high. It's to make you feel pumped up. Like a confidence yeah. boost. Yeah. yeah. A lot probably, of people, yeah, probably booze so, is the biggest issue in stand up. For sure. So you yeah. bring it up like chefs. I'm trying to think of like the the jobs where it's just understood. Of course, of course, they're doing hard drugs. Like what? That's, a lot of you, uh, you have the, to. The <laughs> fucking teen girls at Rita's Italian Ice. They're all fucking <laughs> bugged out. Yeah. <laughs> that's a that's a known problem. <laughs> hey, Mo, can I ask a stand up question? Sure. You ever get up there and forget? You have to. No. You can you really? can just you got it down. I don't forget. I'll forget like new jokes. So yeah, yeah. So yeah. But I could <laughs> I could recite like twenty minutes without even thinking about it right now. It's, no, it's just muscle memory at this point. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Have you ever tried new like throwing in a new like body gesture? No. Do I you have it do down that. to the gestures? Yeah, I don't do many like gestures. Okay. Yeah. It's more of just how I talk. I really don't change much. Because I, I was asking you this on Saturday, uh when you you were tossing out the idea of me hosting one of those laugh yeah. factory things i said uh, i don't know what type of stand-up i am is that something that you intentionally set out to become or it finds no. you no i don't really a lot of people like try to have like a persona on yeah. stage and some people can get away with it but if you're actually gonna do it you just have to be yourself yeah 
but I think you would be. I don't know what my persona. I mean, I'm pretty deadpan. Yeah, so I think it stick be, to that. I, I, don't, just stick I wouldn't to the try to act man. like hyped up. <laughs> yeah, because like, you can't sustain that. Singing a Robin Williams type act. Uh, I make like faces like Jim Carrey. If you ever watch like his old stand up, and he's just can you do like, faces? No, but I, <laughs> <laughs> be a fun surprise. Who's the best face comic? Jim Carrey. It was Jim the, Carrey. The, like active. Uh <laughs> there's picked up Sebastian. The, the face mantle. Sebastian is very physical. He's a good face guy. He's a big like, and then like a big just act out guy. Yeah, eyes go bulge a little bit. Yeah. 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 I tried to do a British accent once, and I just in the moment I was like, I'm about to do a British accent. This is gonna go horribly wrong, mm-hmm. and that made it funny. But oh, you told him that. Yes. Okay. Because I was like about to do it. I it was a new joke. I writ I wrote down. I was like, I was like six months into stand up. I was like, when I go to Chipotle. I turn into a British woman asking for like my rice and chicken, and then I was like, <laughs> what, what, "In what way?" Be like, "Can I get some?" Like just being like very proper and nice. <laughs> it was terrible. <laughs> <laughs> it was so That's pretty good though. <laughs> so I know you have the patent at KB signature. Yeah. Do you have any like yeah. international accents? No, I don't think so. I think you could though if you can do the KB. Yeah. Right. 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 Uh, anything. Yeah. Yeah, that's a tough one. <laughs> The Fasoli impression's the new hot one that, that yeah. a lot of... Uh, well, he's every race. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he really is. He could be any... Name a race that he couldn't be. Oh, fuck. Now that he's... Yeah, like, it's a great tanned. point. That's a tough question. <laughs> it's a great point. You're right. <laughs> it's a great point. You could make an argument right. for all of them. <laughs> <laughs> I'm running out. Just do my job. No, just do my job. <laughs> <laughs> um... TJ, you want to go ahead and spin the wheel? Yeah, spin the wheel. We got to come up with a strategy for tomorrow. We might we get some extra bodies yeah, in get here. Some heads. <sighs> yeah, get some or not I don't bodies know. or heads. Anything I should know about uh, Pittsburgh? Never been. Oh, it's the Steel City. Oh, you're not you're not going to be here tomorrow. Nope. It's just us three. Mm-hmm. Oh shit! Yeah, we can get like some cantaloupe. couple others. Yeah, you'll you'll love it. Uh, you, Nick, Sass, that'll be amazing. That's going to be fun. Yeah, I'm pumped. And they're they're um. They're more privy to the vulgarity, so don't worry about that. Okay. That's their style, yeah. Yeah, I feel like it's similar to Buffalo. Is that correct? Probably. Like the yeah, a little more, like, filthy Fuck yeah. than Buffalo. Yeah, oh, I like that. Mm-hmm. Is Buffalo not filthy? It seems like it would be it ha- have a, a likable layer of filth. Um, They're filthy, but, like, Pittsburgh has, more like, an air, like an extra filter of grime. Ritty and grimy. Yeah, yeah. like dudes wearing and boots that are Less covered. hygiene than bu- Buffalo. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right, spin it. We're going to have to bear the sins of our compadres here. No. Nope. Hasn't really been close lately. Um, well, that just... <laughs> you saying that was... Well, I mean, it just hasn't. Not the, and now it's very it symmetrical. Uh, all right, y'all want to shut her down? We'll, yeah, we'll be back tomorrow. Leave me on the we'll, tether ball. Yeah. Dude, I You've took... been dying to do tether ball? No, because I know that's a horrible look. Yeah. I took one swing and my shoulders fucked up. You tried it? Yeah. Mm. Not great. That might be the worst look. Yeah. Getting hurt playing tetherball is hard to no, explain man. to anybody. <laughs> Unless yeah. you're that third grader that got punched in the face. That, that third grader's not getting hurt. She was fine. She's there, she there. was fine? The, the skill she's got, she was fine. She's been through that. Mm, true. You're right. That was nothing to her. All right, shut her down, TJ. Yeah, we'll uh, we'll be down. back tomorrow. Thanks. Peace. See you tomorrow. Bye.